So over the past week, I came across some kind of cool ways that we've used AI and a couple of cool ways I've seen AI used in some projects. So I just want to talk about them. Two of them are really practical, like things that I could do on an everyday basis. And two of them are more creative business ideas that may spur some thoughts or ideas from you. So you just have to think like that. For starters, if you're looking for ways to use AI, the first thing I suggest you do is automatically open up chat GPC as the first page in your browser every day. Like when you get your day started, just start here. Start here with a blank chat GPT page. Okay, that way it's always there. It's always available when you're trying to think of a potential idea. And so speaking of ChatGPT, I'm going to hit you with the first really, really useful thing that I did this past week by using ChatGPT. I was looking at insurance. I have to get two new insurance quotes for our home property. And what I've done in the past is I get a quote, I get a quote, I look back and forth, I'm reading on the PDS and trying to compare them. And I was like, wait a minute, why don't I just load these into ChatGPT? Why don't I just load them in there and see what it says, right? So basically I upload the two different quotes and I start asking it questions, right? So I'm asking it to compare and trying to get the information in order to help me make the decision without having to go back and forth and compare those items. Easy, simple, but a very realistic thing that you can do logically. So I'll go ahead and give you the second one that is a very real life thing that will be helpful for all of us. When's the last time you read Terms of Service when you were signing up for something? If you're like me, it's probably been a while. You probably don't do that all the time. Well, now you can. I mean, let's see if we can just put in the Terms of Service here. Let's see. So can it read this? Even if it can't, we can download the PDF. All right, so it can't access that Term of Service. But what I can do is I can, why not download the PDF, upload the PDF into ChatGPT since it can't read directly from the website. Fair enough. Are there any unusual items in the TOS? So you can just ask it questions, right? Some services automatically update on your device. Okay, which ones? So like, which services automatically update? Let's see if it knows. Got it, so send me back to the terms. There's no chance I was ever gonna read any of these terms before. I was gonna click through. I was gonna just click through, but now I have the opportunity to actually do that. All right, let me hit you with a couple of creative things that I saw and then also finally one that we did ourselves. So here's one that I saw. I'm in a networking group with a, basically a mastermind group of other entrepreneurs. And this guy said, his name's Andrew, smart guy. He said, hey, I just had this uh, new idea and I just launched it. Let's see where it goes. So it's like, it's horror stories basically told in Instagram and with an AI generated voice, simple. So ChatGPT wrote a story he plays a clip of the story, and then for part two, you can go see part two, part three, but to get the whole story, he's got it where the link in the bio, I think maybe you go and buy it, I think, pay like a dollar or something if you want the whole story. Yeah, he's just like testing this out. He probably launched this in like a couple of hours time. 11 labs, he used 11 labs for the voice. So I asked him, I said, hey, did you use 11 labs for, to generate the AI voice? He said, yeah. So chat GPT for the story, 11 labs for the voice, and then create a video out of that. So mixing and matching these tools to create something intriguing and useful or just something interesting and testing you can test really quickly now with artificial intelligence so the last one is an idea that i just had i was like wait a minute we have these local news stories and things that are happening in my town in my city so for our local media brand i said well what if we can create stories create songs create stories out of these ideas so we wrote a song we wrote a song about this big bridge project that's coming up in our city all right let me play y'all a quick sample of what we post woke up this morning sun shining bright but i know the traffic's gonna be a five down on the causeway the cars are all jammed need a new bridge it's time for a plan build a bridge over mobile bay all right, so it's like a country song. Now, three different things of different forms of AI used together, right? ChatGPT helped me write a song. Suno.com helped me create the music. Pixverse.ai helped me animate a picture, right? So it makes it look like these cars are driving on Mobile Bay. Descript video editing helped edit and throw these on here. Able to do all of them in... I don't know if I had to put all the time together, maybe 45 minutes. 
But going forward, I think it could be much quicker. So I realized that I keep compounding these tools and coming up with new ideas as I see new tools and they do different things. So I'm going to keep this going. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated. I'm going to keep notes on cool things that I see throughout my week. And then I'll try to make a recap video and say, hey, here's some cool things that I saw. Some of them practical, some of them creative. What have you seen that is easily duplicatable that we can put into our business, our everyday life? Share them. See you next time.